Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. Hello, how's Hello. it going? Hi, good. How are you? <laughs> Not too bad. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a pleasure speaking with you. I got a chance to listen to the music Dustin sent the advance and then said that there was an opportunity to talk to you. So um, tell me about uh, how you got approached for, by uh, Frontiers to do this, because it's more of a, uh, I guess, a, a rock record, right? You know, and you come from a background to it's more like jazz, maybe pop and stuff. So let's start with that. How yeah. did you get approached? by frontiers about that so uh do you maybe know ever heard of the big deal yes event? yes i have right right so my friend who is um actually a creator and mastermind of it uh, that band of uh, surgeon okay he reached out to me um i've known him for a while and uh, we're not close friends, but more like colleagues, you know. Sure. Uh, he reached out to me and um, told me about that project, mentioned it. I uh, didn't tell me much, but um, he asked me if uh, I would t uh, give it a listen, mm -hmm. listen to a few songs and uh, tell him if I like it and if I'm interested in um, making a little demo. Um, I think they were actually looking for a certain for a singer for that certain project, but also mm -hmm. uh, as a record label uh, for the future projects. And uh, I love the songs. They were pretty catchy. Yeah. Um, I think they're really uh, melodic, you know, and the lyrics sure. are written really well. Um, so that was the reason I decided to do it. I, I really love the songs. Nice. And I could uh, picture myself, you know, um, singing them. So, okay. So uh, when you were know. where you, when you were approached, did uh, were the songs already kind of uh, selected for this particular project, or or were you able to kind of pull the ones that you were more had more of a connection to? Let's say. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, the songs, I mean, the songs that were sent to me were the ones from the album, which okay. is interesting. Uh, he told me that it must it might not be that project that I'll be on, mm -hmm. but. Like uh, you know, just in case, do that demo for uh, um for this project, and um and I did actually brand new heart. That was the first one okay. I heard, right. and then I recorded demo uh, for oh. that one and sent it over to Mike, and he liked it, and that's how we how we started working on it. And then the rest, right. there was a possibility of like collaborating, writing together, but it was really we had limited time, so we didn't have a chance to do that. Um, Right, so he right. just wrote, and yeah, he added his songs, and yeah, and that was it. Huh? So mm -hmm. currently, though, I mean, I've seen a couple music videos. You got one for "Bad Sun Rising" and then "Too Late" and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, you know, when the, when you get approached about doing music videos, you know, because I know one of the big things is doing lyric videos. I'm, I'm sure you were thrilled to actually be in the video versus a lyric uh, video, huh? I always prefer that. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy. I, I think feedback was better than I expected. Mm -hmm. Um, taking in consideration time that we sure. didn't have, right? Right. It was really, yeah, it was just all very, uh, quick, I would say, and time limited. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I like to be, to be in the video, uh, and, uh, to be able to, you know, share that energy. Sure. Um, that can be only well through singing, but also visual, visual, um, right. visually. Yes, you can also um, show some and like express yourself. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm grateful that we were able to do that. For how sure. long? How long? Let's say the video for uh, Black Sun Rising. How 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 quick was that put together? Because I know you said you had limited time, so I'm sure you guys were in a time crunch. So basically filming, it was just all in one day. Okay. Wow. Yes. We had two different uh, houses, brewing houses that were just next to each other. So one was a little bit brighter and with more light. Sure. And another one that was in the end is darker. And so that worked out pretty well. Um, so we changed on the spot and, um, and I had my makeup ready for the whole day and hair. So we did it all in one day and then... 
And then it took him maybe just like, I don't know, I, I would even say a couple of days to, okay. to, to put it together. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah. pretty slick. I mean, that's like one of those yeah. videos that would have probably cost like, you know, several thousand dollars back in the day. But I mean, I think you can do some pretty cool stuff with just a limited budget and limited yes. time, right? So I wish we could have done more uh, of storytelling, you know, and have more people in right. the video. Like, it would like, be much uh, easier for me as well. This was all, right. you know, uh, self-centered. It was it's in a way challenging to, you know, just keep it interesting when I'm sure. on my own singing. Right. But, right. Um, so so something more of like a concept then, huh? Exactly. Like a concept type video. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. Probably comes from your background in, in theater and stuff as well, huh? Yes, that's so true. Yeah. I, I think I have, I have definitely potential to, to make that happen, mm -hmm. but it's just sometimes time and budget and all that, um, makes it impossible right sure, sure. but maybe in, in the future we'll, we'll we'll do something like that it would be awesome so now that you've done a melodic you know hard rock record you know and, and you know it has it's it's melodic rock so it, i think it has that ability to kind of appeal to you know people that are into hard rock in their in their 20s but also some of the old schoolers right some people that are maybe yes. into like journey and foreigner and you know some of those type of bands and stuff um now that you put this record or recorded these songs you know i'm sure mm -hmm. you're pro are you itching to do another another record uh oh yeah definitely yeah i'm looking forward to that um and i'm sure it's going to be similar to this mm -hmm. and um i like as you said yeah definitely it has that 80s right uh, sound mm -hmm. uh but in a way it's also a little bit modern right um uh, with the arrangements and my voice is not a typical i would say right. rock voice sure so sure. it's a little like fusion but um i'm definitely right. will be happy to do something similar right next time and would it be um uh off the mark to say that some of the stuff that you that you're doing on this record could be somewhat influenced by some of that symphonic type vocal I mean, maybe that also comes back from the, from your experience in theater and stuff. Yes. Yeah. I would say so. I mean, um, especially, um, I definitely have different, I mean, I listen to mm -hmm. all sorts of music, but I was mostly saying, I started on my education opera singing, which is interesting oh, wow. too. Okay. So, and I even did competitions and stuff while I was in high school. Okay. But then, and then it was pop, and then it was jazz during the college years, and uh, so it's like all over the place. I even listened to metal music in middle school, so oh, wow. it's not it's not strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I listened to Iron Maiden and Nightwish, and all okay, that. oh wow, oh Nightwish, uh, there you go. So well, that's that where that's symphonic. That that yeah, that actually inspired yeah. me to start opera singing. I was obsessed. All right. With her. <laughs> and what about yeah. are you? Fan of Lacuna Coil as well. Mm, i've never i don't think i've okay. heard them they're similar Is they're similar, similar to nightwish and stuff you know it's another female oh. fronted band so yeah probably worth oh, checking I check out. it out yeah what is the name again uh lacuna coil they're they're lacuna uh, coil. italian yeah so oh, nice i'll check it out then. yeah it's worth checking out <clears throat> um so you mentioned opera you know uh you said uh, some competitions and stuff like that but you're also part of like eurovision right I was a part of a uh, of the voice, basically. Well, it's, yeah, it's called similar. First yeah, yeah. voice of Serbia, but it's almost okay. like the voice in, in the United States. Okay, I get it. How did you get a pro? I mean, was that something that uh, somebody approached you about participating, or it was something that you just thought, "Hey, I'm going to give this a try," and you made it on there? Oh, my mom uh, okay. signed me up. <laughs> yeah, so it was against my will. Well, I wouldn't say against my will because. But I was in question, so it was like a surprise. Um, but in my, I, I'm thankful uh, that she did it, and um, I think it was the best experience. I mean, it's a you know, once in a lifetime experience for sure. Right. How stressed really. out were you, and how did you deal with the stress and pressure of that? That's a really good question. <laughs> I was really stressed. Uh, I was immature. I was 17, 18 at the time. So to for it to suddenly happen overnight, it was it was right. uh, so much to take. Um, 
and there was a weight on my shoulders. But um, I don't know. I would cry often. Obviously, mm-hmm. <laughs> I would have my friends around, and um, I think I was pretty strong actually mm-hmm. but uh yeah i was a little bit sensitive i would say during that time like a more you know sensitive in a way emotional and i would cry easy, start crying easily um but i think they kept it uh they kept us they try to really keep it uh all um how to say inclusive so they they mm-hmm. didn't let us watch the youtube videos the comments oh, read right. comments they didn't let us like sure. meaning the team the the production mm-hmm. and we were actually at that time during the show in the house together with other oh, wow. participants it, so locked no down cameras. in a way huh <laughs> yeah we yeah. actually were in a lockdown right. yes yeah. uh, no cameras or anything we had our sure. privacy but i think for that reason just to stay safe from all the you sure. know um uh, craziness because we were and to make it to pump it up also you know so sure. people don't see you anywhere right you just yeah and they, uh, they were successful i mean it was really it was really a big a, a big deal uh out of curiosity because i know that's something that sometimes people mention is some of the comments on there uh is that something that you even look at to this day i know back earlier on when you were uh in the competition you were told not to do that or urged not to do that or kept away from it but now that you're away from that and it's a few years removed uh what's your thoughts on on artists reading comments online because some of them can be pretty venomous and vicious Oh my, I mean, it is, uh, it's hard to be, to stay cold and not get, a, not be affected by it. Mm-hmm. Um, but honestly, I just, sometimes it's just, I, very often I don't even read mm-hmm. or I would read for the first few days. Um, sure. and, um, you know, I just say to myself, I mean, whoever has hateful comments to share and to just be there to, to, to do that, share hate is, uh, it's their problem. Just right. I try not to take it personally because it is actually really not my problem. Um, right. And it's not about me. Right. Although it seems like it is, but it's actually right. not. And that's a good way to, to, to uh, put it. You know, it's not about yeah. you. It's kind of their perception or whatever they got going on that's making them uh, oh, unhappy yeah. and whatnot. So Exactly. Um, and you're also you're you're currently I know in the press release it was something mentioned about uh, the Berkeley School uh, College of uh, you know in Boston. Yes, yes, so yeah, t- was, t- t- tell me yeah. about that because you're connected to that uh, you participated or in it or something like that. I don't remember quite. Yeah, off the top of my I basically. Head. I mean, I uh, I graduated from Berkeley College of okay. Music. Yes. Okay. So I was there for undergrad. Um. And finished graduated in 2017 okay so yeah i mean after after the voice i was in i started college in serbia mm-hmm. and then just like a few people from serbia uh my really good friend um that i started dating after that uh, was at berkeley already mm-hmm. so we i um decided to audition and try and i got a really good scholarship and nice. it was, you know, worth trying. So, yeah, it was, uh, it's a great school. I mean, I, I loved it. Okay. Um, and I was quick. I finished it really quickly, actually. Not even, but it was, took me, well, two and a half years to, to graduate. Okay. So. Oh, nice. And and do yeah. you go back? I mean, do they have like some of the alumni come back and talk to the students and stuff? Or how does that all work? Um. So... I mean, I've done uh, some things here and there, not, not really mm-hmm. workshops, or I, sure. I didn't teach. Um, at Berkeley, I started my own school, mm. uh, but I do stay in touch with people who are there, and um, and who knows, maybe one day I sure. I I'll be a teacher there. Nice. So I mean, nice. when you're you're, I mean, this music thing for you is a real serious thing. I mean, all around, it just seems yeah. like it's it's just a huge part <laughs> of your it's life, my right? Thing. Yeah, nice. exactly. It, it's been for forever. <laughs> so what about in terms of like future plans? I know we already tap touched on the fact that, you know, you'd like to make another record, you know, um, mm-hmm. 
uh, and and what about any other future plans going into 2023 which are almost at the tail end here so i'm sure it's not too uh it's not too much of a reach to kind of look into what's in store for next yeah, year yeah huh? it's so close this mm-hmm. week i mean um i do have some plans nothing crazy i mean i just go with the flow usually in life mm-hmm. um uh, but um i would say still work work on this cd and project try to get it out there sure uh, maybe do a couple of acoustic covers mm. on my own because i play piano too so that's okay. my idea maybe to get it out there you know and and maybe post it wherever i can uh, so i think this album needs more sure. time and i just want to give it time i i do have a project on my own that is on the side like my original song that I'm um, I'm going to release soon mm-hmm. that is very different stylistically. So it sure. won't be through frontiers. Yes. Right. Right. But it's going to be in the new, it's going to be soon, probably February or March. Um, okay. And then I'm trying to do, um, I'll probably do the album release concert, like a live performance of the songs from the album Okay, cool. in Boston. Which oh, is going to wow. be on my, yeah. With my band um, in Boston. Um, so that's, you know, it's still mm-hmm. sticking out to the, sticking right. with the album and trying sure. to, to do the, the, get the most out of it. Uh, but definitely, yeah, I mean, I keep writing songs and, uh, although it's busy with the school and I'm like the business I have, but, um, I still try to right. manage it, you know, and although it's maybe just, it's a little bit slower, I would say. Sure. It's so much going on. <laughs> so that, that was one of my questions too, as far as like, you know, plans for performance, but it sounds like that could potentially happen with a band in Boston in some high, shape or form, right? It will. Yeah, I think yeah. it will. It should. Um, because I know in Boston, I, I do have a, a big community and mm-hmm. friend, many friends that would definitely come to hear it. And it would be just a great, great time. So why wouldn't I do it? Um, as far as uh, for the record label plans, I'm not right. sure. Um, I'm hoping for some uh, live performances in the near future, maybe it's summer. Or it just depends. I know they sometimes um, do have performers go to different festivals and stuff like that. So, I mean, I would love that to happen, but we'll see. I think right. it will be... Uh, Great, great, great. So I do. just got just got three more things and I'm trying to remember yes. them off the top yeah, of my yeah, head yes. before I uh, wrap <laughs> up with you. But first one would be what's your favorite song uh, on this on this record and why? Um, my favorite, I would say um, first one will be you two. OK. I like. um it is pop. It I kind of like has that pop sound. Uh, but then the arrangement again, it's pretty rock, um, and um, it almost reminds me of punk a little bit of like okay, yeah, Avril Lavigne or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I love the story behind it too. It's pretty. Right. I think it's a badass story, and it's it's uh, pretty cool. And this that's how I would. Um, deal in in that certain situation you know if my boyfriend uh, and my best friend hooked up (laughs) while we were still together i would also let go and i will be totally fine not fine but it's just uh what can i do you know i wish Mm -hmm. you all the best right you were the best things in my life in the past and not anymore and uh just let's just move on so i like that i like that uh perspective Cool. Um, and I share the emotions. I would definitely mm-hmm. be that person. And so maybe I feel like, you know, that it is my style and I would write that song. That's how I would write it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I would pick the same sure. words. Right, right. Um, and I like the melody too. I think it's really catchy. I think it's just pretty cool. I love Outrageous too um, as a tune. Um, um Writer's block was my favorite at first, mm-hmm. but then I think I just uh, not sure if it came out the way I hoped, but okay. it is still a really good song. Nice. Um, that's on rising, obviously. I mean, it's mm-hmm. such a good message too. Right. Uh, I mean, people love that song. Mm-hmm. It's really catchy. Um, 
And um, I think just the way it's not a love song. Um, right. So it's more like your own inner struggles, right? Mm -hmm. It could mm -hmm. be de depression or any mental illness or challenge or challenges in life uh, whatsoever, daily challenges. So that, that one I loved a lot too. So, right. I mean, they're all good songs really. Right. Um, <laughs> it's really hard to pick. <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, next one. Uh, what's a song that you wish you had written? Oh, like over, like overall. I mean, you got a lot of ground to cover. Most people go, well, I'm just into hard rock or metal or whatever, but you, you kind of have the jazz, the theater, the pop, the rock background. So, so opera. I can pick someone else's song. Yeah. And be like, uh, yeah. To oh say what God. a I song you wish you had written. Oh, that's such a good one. Oh, wait, let me think. Um, um, hmm. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> uh, I know. Well, I don't know why it came to my mind, but um, do you know "Purple Rain" by Prince? Yeah. I don't I know do. that song. It's like I always have special connection okay. to that one. I love that one. I mean, obviously, I would feel so, such a genius writing. Um, right. I don't know something. Um, which one would that be? Bohemian Rhapsody. I okay. mean, I would be well, yeah, so, that has, so happy. That with has myself. all sorts of elements to it. Yeah, for <laughs> exactly. sure. Exactly. So right. I, yeah, let's let's pick that one or those okay. two. Okay. Well, those are <laughs> great choices. Last question I have for you. Like, what's <laughs> yeah. a song that you love to hate that you don't like either the artist so much or the song, but something about it just gravitates, you know, you towards it? Oh, so I don't love it or hate yeah, it, but it's but, around. But you can't or... get it out of your head once you hear it. You know what I mean? Like you could be oh, in a supermarket like a, and then all of a sudden, like a bam. Warm. It, right. There you warm. go. There you go. Maybe, well, there are a few, I mean, definitely, but let's say something that is prominent now, mm -hmm. maybe the one, uh, good for you, Olivia Rodrigo. Oh yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> it was there around, you, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I think it's a, it's, it's a great, I would not say that would be my style, you know, it's sure. like, like that punk and just the kind of pop, but you don't even know what it is. Um, but, um, it is, it gets stuck. It gets stuck mm -hmm. in your head for sure. Right. So. Right. I'd say that one, maybe. There you go. <laughs> nice. Hey, yeah. well, thank you for your time. It's been a blast talking to you. We'll plug all the course, social media, likewise. plug the record, hopefully get a chance to talk to you somewhere down the road, whether you're plugging the live performance down the way or maybe new music. Um, but definitely yeah. we'll we'll reach out to to the plovelicist and get something else lined up when that time comes. But uh thank you for your time. Any any last oh, words yes, before pleasure. we wrap up? Um, well, I would say, uh, I mean, I just want to thank you so much for this opportunity and it was so sure. nice talking to you and I hope to talk to you soon again. And, um, yeah, I'll definitely be happy to share also on Instagram, uh, nice. please tag me Great. And, yeah, uh, we will. and then, yeah, we'll stay in touch. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your time again and best, uh, with the record and the, hopefully the upcoming performance takes place as you envision it. I hope so. Yes. All right. All right. You'll well, know take about care. it. <laughs> yeah, Thank take you. care. Happy New Year. You too. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.